Now, today we're going to be tasting apple cider vinegar. And now a lot of folks say apple cider vinegar is good for your health and cures everything from weight loss and acne to hiccups and even helps with teeth whitening. But the real question today for Jack is which brand tastes best? Yeah, we'll see what you're thinking after you drink all of this. I'm a little worried. <laughs> yeah, so we have three vinegars here. First thing you're going to notice is some differences in appearance. So, they are very different looking. Yeah, so this is really about filtering, and mm -hmm. I'm not sure it's such a big factor. Some are filtered, mm -hmm. some are not. So we did the tasting four ways, the way mm -hmm. you're doing it, pan sauce, coleslaw, and barbecue sauce. Oh, barbecue sauce. Yeah, you, sorry, no barbecue sauce today. You're getting it straight up. I'm getting uh, some crackers. <laughs> <laughs> so start drinking. Now, the big thing you want to be paying attention to is the level of acidity and the amount of sort of fruit and sweetness. These are somewhere between 5% and 5.3% acidity. So as vinegars go, these are actually fairly low acid. So if you think about it, like a sherry vinegar or a balsamic can often be 6 or 7% yeah. acidity. And so these are less potent. And this is the American vinegar. You know, Spain has sherry vinegar. Italy has balsamic. This is what, uh, in colonial America, they use this to, as you said, clean their teeth, mm -hmm. clean their house. Cider was the main alcoholic beverage uh, before <laughs> beer. <laughs> Excuse me. I think I'll have a cracker. <laughs> it's a little strong. Mm -hmm. Small sips, dear. <laughs> so we sent these all out to the lab that we mm -hmm. used to analyze them for sugar content and acidity. The acidic content didn't vary all that much, but it was perceived very differently depending on how much sugar was there. Mm. So. Um, anything that you are immediately noticing besides the obvious that they look <laughs> different from each other, mm -hmm. do you feel like they taste different from yeah, each I other? Yeah, I do. They do have different flavors and it's very noticeable. I coughed when I drank this one because I didn't like it. Okay. It was too harsh. It was almost salty. I might have a different opinion if it was in a vinaigrette or a barbecue sauce. I might like that sort of push of acidity to shine through. But drinking it straight, this was a little much for me. Yeah, and we did find the ones that were really harsh here. That was a better trait in something like a barbecue sauce where you've got spices and tomatoes and molasses and you really want the vinegar to do its job. What about the yeah. two on the ends? Um, this one was a little stinky, a little stinky around the edges, but I actually liked that. It reminded me of sauerkraut or other fermented things, and that was positive to me. My favorite sipping vinegar was this one. It was balanced, it had a good sweetness on the end, and in terms of just sipping it, it just, it tasted good. Okay. Where do you want to start? With what you liked or what you didn't like? I'll start with what I didn't like. Okay. This one. This is Heinz. Mm -hmm. So this is the winner. It does better in the expert panel in the other tests when mm. we started cooking with it. The studio audience wasn't wild about the Heinz either because no. it's very strong. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's a good trait when you're cooking, less desirable trait when you're drinking. In a cocktail. Yeah, in a cocktail. <laughs> Let's move on to the unfiltered one next, which had that sort of stinky flavor that I actually liked. You were the only one who liked that. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> I, I, I kind of figured that was coming. Uh, now, this is at the bottom of the rankings. This one had um, some odd notes that the panel didn't like. It's fine vinegar, but it was our lowest rated. All right. And then this one, which was my favorite. You are in agreement with these lovely people hey! out here. They chose this because this is the one that has some residual sugar in it mm -hmm. to balance all that acidity. It was the overall runner up once we finished all four tastings, but it's a great vinegar. All right, so there you have it. When buying apple cider vinegar, either go with Heinz, which has a really potent flavor, or think about choosing White House, which has a nice sweetness. Thanks for watching Cook's Country from America's Test Kitchen. So what'd you think? Leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or just say hi. Now you can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. Alligator. <laughs>